All right, Cam, I'm here at the uh, Gatorade Athlete of the Year Awards. What does it mean for you to see, like, the next generation of young athletes coming up and being celebrated here? Well, it's scary because they're getting bigger, stronger, faster, um, at a rapid pace, and, and knowing that, you know, these kids are already as good as they are, their ceiling to get better is extremely high. You know, people said that a lot about you just a couple years ago, too. Yeah, they <laughs> did. But, I mean, when, when you see 16, 17-year-olds being able to do certain things that they're doing, I mean, it's, it's kind of scary. But you're encouraging them to, you know, be the best person, player, um, as they could possibly be. And, you know, from the looks of it, they're on a, on a, on a great track. All right, NFL-wise, you were just selected by your peers as the number one athlete for the NFL Network's top 100 players. Your thoughts on that? Well, it's an unbelievable, you know, accolade in itself that's, you know, getting your peers' respect. Uh, you know, with me having so much respect and me being so much of fans of so many guys in this league, um, you know, for them to vote me number one, you know, means a lot. Who would you have voted for? Brady or JJ, you know, I actually played against him this year, or even AB. No, the list goes on. You know, Julio's <laughs> special. Uh, Luke's Luke. Yeah, Luke was there. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it's, 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 I think that's what makes football so, so, uh, you know, cool. Just that it may not be a unanimous number one ever, you know, because when you go in different regions, you know, certain people may feel a certain type of way, and, and I'm cool with that. Training camp for you guys starts in a couple weeks. Yes. What is the approach coming off the Super Bowl loss? You've been with these guys all offseason working. What's been the focus, and how do you think it's maybe different than in years past? Well, I think uh, for a long, for the first time in a long time, I think for me, this may be the first time ever since I've been affiliated with the Panthers that we're favorites. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily, you know, to to, to go far in the playoffs, but just winning games and being favorites to win those games. And one thing that Coach Shula, as well as Coach Rivera, you know, shared with us is that nothing's promised. You know, just because we we went 15-1 uh, and one in the regular season, that, that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to go 16-0 and 0 in the next, you know, the next season. Uh, for us, I think our main focus right now is starting from scratch, understanding that and maximizing each and every person's uh, responsibility. Um, and for us as players coming together, um, you know, to, to, to make each other better. Do you like, even though you haven't really been in the position, but you're in the position of favorites, do you prefer to maybe be the underdog or the team that slept on, or do you like now being the team that come get us? Well, really, it doesn't matter at the end of the day because you still have to play the game. Um, you know, no matter who we play, uh, we feel like as if that we're going to bring our best foot forward, uh, knowing that you got guys like Thomas Davis, Luke Keekley. Um, you know, Ron Khalil and those guys, the list goes on, Michael Lohr, you know, good guys that compete not only, you know, in the game but in practice. So, you know, when we make uh, practice game like, um, it, the transition to the game, you know, is really, really low because, you know, practice is already, you know, set at a high tempo. Last question. Have you spoken to anybody this offseason who's maybe told you about bouncing back from a Super Bowl loss or getting back or some of the things that you might have to contend with? I think one of my favorite conversations this, this whole offseason had to come from uh, Ray Lewis and uh, Michael Strahan at the same time. You know what I'm saying? We, were, we had an unbelievable dinner and just, you know, a talk of life. You know, not just necessarily about football and, and, and them, you know, making me realize uh, my responsibility as a person. Um, you know, for, for two great men who mean so much, uh, they impacted me in, in so many different ways than they would have ever, you know, know with, with, with their skill set on the field. But, you know, I'm just blown away by, you know, their mental approach, you know, outside of the game. And with them taking the time to just talk to me on numerous occasions via text, phone call, or even, you know, when we see each other, it just means a lot. Good stuff, Cam. Thank you so much. Yes, All the best, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Got you. It.